Hello, it's Dr. Steve Papuchis. I'm a sports medicine and interventional spine physician here at Virginia Spine Institute. And today I'd like to discuss something that when a lot of patients hear they may have degenerative disc disease or degenerative low back pain. It can be a scary thing, but what does degenerative actually mean? So degenerative is just a general term that means wear and tear throughout your life and with use. So the more you use your body and the longer you live, you tend to accumulate little dings, nicks, and injuries that can, over time, accumulate to start causing pain. And in the low back, when we say degenerative disc disease, we're referring to the lumbar disc. Now, the lumbar disc is a basket of collagen with a jelly center. This basket of collagen pulls and twists and moves and bends and deforms as you're going through life, as you're bending, you're twisting, you're playing golf, you're running. And it's a way that it can disperse forces across your body so you don't get injuries. But over time, these discs come a little dry and they crack and they, and they wear out and eventually can be a source of pain for people. Now, there are many, many people who are walking the streets today, both young and old, that if you got an MRI of their lumbar spine, you may see that the disc is a little dry, it's a little bit squished, you may even have a little herniation uh, from a previous injury, but they're not having any pain. So just because you may have degenerative discs does not necessarily mean that that is a cause of symptoms or you're destined to have symptoms. So I think it's very important to understand that when you're going to a doctor and you have some back pain or some aches and pains, and if you get an MRI, just because the disc may seem a little worse for the wear, doesn't mean that you, it may be causing your symptoms, or it doesn't mean that you're destined to have chronic debilitating back pain. It's just a normal part of life that as we evaluate our patients, we have to correlate that to your symptoms and figure out, is this really causing your symptoms and what can we do to help you feel better and get back to the things you love doing?